What's up guys, welcome back. So on today's video, it's a really, really exciting one for me personally. Um, I finally got to test the 335 BMW that we've been working on recently. And uh, we managed to bring it to a place where I learned to drift when I was a kid. So I started driving around fields in Ireland back when I was, what, eight or nine years old. And uh, like many other Irish drivers, we would uh, live in the countryside, uh, get permission off a farmer and just get an old wrecker of a car, bring it to a field and just learn the basic pieces of car control and just having fun with friends. Uh, that's what I did when I was younger, so on today's video I'm going right back to my roots, having fun with some friends. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get straight in. These wheels be away nice with checking tow. Right there. What is going on here? We are raising her up, which is unlike me, but we found a place to test. So the track requires a bit of uh, the track height. is a bit bumpier than what we're used to. Well, you're well used to it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to this track in almost twenty years. So very yeah, first track you like. drove on. Very first track I drove on. So. Raising this little girl up so we can test her and uh, see what it's like. I can't wait any longer. I started driving here uh, about 20 years ago um, when I was learning how to drift before tandem drifting before anything. We've been quite lucky uh, as there's a lot of silage and grass being caught in Ireland at the moment. Um, I managed to get a field off my neighbour and uh, it was the closest thing I could get to a racetrack to test how this thing is feeling after our modifications. So this is the field, quite a nice size. I uh, managed to get Jack Shannon to come as well, so we'll do a bit of tandem driving in a minute, uh, get the helmets on and get some onboard footage. But first impression, brilliant. Car feels great. It's really good fun. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. What do you think? I think I want to have a go in a minute. Cause it oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, like I can't actually believe like how smooth this is. Like we are. Um... that are bumpier than this. <laughs> it's really good fun. <laughs> oh my God. Oh dear, Jack. That's a nice little diesel oh, spill yeah. there. He oh, says that his pr here. pressure washer is uh, broken at the minute, so yeah, it's a bit dirty, but it's gonna get worse as we go into the tandem in a minute. Right, so we'll try some tandem fun with Jack Shanahan, who's driving his 320 E46, and we're in the E92. Why is Fab in the field? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm in the GT86, like going from left to right. 
<laughs> um, do you want to chase me? It's good, Craig. It's not far off a long beach for you. <laughs> the right left into the ties. Sorry about the dust. Oh, no, Summer fun. Summer fun. As good as any track. Though. So, I saw Matt Field and Forsberg and stuff practicing in Arwendale. Practicing in Arwendale, but we can make a track much bigger than Arwendale here. Yeah. Good Irish land. <laughs> Great chimney. <laughs> Why did you say Jack? It's called the Euro Dodger. The Dodger of Euro. <laughs> <laughs> off the ground. Two. The tire came after him. That was two feet off the ground. Oh, like. So that's what happened. Happens. You can even hear there's gravel inside the wheel or grass. 
when you try jumping a drift car in the field. So we have just wrapped up our field drift experience. Jack, field what drift is that? experience. That is your intercooler. Yep. I have uh, the old intercooler off, the 335. What was your experience of that? Oh, absolutely unbelievable. I, I've i obviously grew up driving in the fields and like never actually drove anything with extra lock or set of coilovers in a field. And It's surprisingly smooth. It's extremely realistic like compared to the even, actual real life thing, you know. Even the grip after, you know, you get a bit of a line down is yeah, surprisingly good. It makes some difference like, I even found like on the first laps you actually kind of had the handbrake to like settle itself. Yeah, the and then the handbrake used to, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. the handbrake made it really grippy after yeah. a while, so. No, it was really, really, really enjoyable. Really fun. I yeah. never thought I'd be bringing pretty much a drift, <laughs> a drift car <laughs> into the field. <laughs> yeah. and well, this is a record car basically. Yeah, but so. still though, it has coilovers, lock, yeah. 320D. Is it's, it, it's a great yoke, like. It's, it's really cheap, like I think like compared to like your car is obviously a cheap budget for actually a really good practice car. Yeah, and for, then you've for got a this, Like <laughs> for like people that wanted to start off, like it actually links all the water to sill, but like it's a challenge, but it's, uh, it's definitely cheap and good fun. Yeah. So. I um I really enjoyed it. Like Great serious car. one. <laughs> Surprising. But uh as we we're saying, myself and Jack and a lot of the drivers from Ireland grew up getting onto fields and just um driving with their friends basically. No real aim or anything else like that. Just having a good time with friends and uh it's surprising even now uh, this is good practice. It's it doesn't you mightn't believe that, but it really is. Uh, transitions, flicks, getting on the door, braking, it's all all very realistic. Um, but yeah, huge thanks to my next door neighbor for lending me the field and uh, yeah, great fun. So that's it for this week. See you all at the same time next week. Take care.